Mm -hmm. We are learning more about the alleged gunman tonight, including the fact that Anderson Aldrich is not his birth name. Aldrich's father tells CBS 8 his son was born in San Diego and the name on his birth certificate is Nicholas Brink. CBS 8's David Garferson talked with his father today at his home in Sherman Heights. I would love my son no matter what. I love my son. Until six months ago, Aaron Brink thought his son had committed suicide. I thought he was dead. I, was, I, I mourned his loss. He says his ex-wife had called him from Colorado in 2016 to tell him their son, Nicholas Brink, had changed his name to Anderson Aldrich and then killed himself. Do you have any idea why he changed his name? Yes. His mother told me he changed his name because I was on intervention and I, I've been a porno actor. You heard correctly, at the time Brink was acting in Los Angeles in porno movies. For six years he thought his son was dead, until Aldrich called him out of the blue last year and started arguing with him over the phone. He's pissed off. He's pissed off at me. He, he wants to poke at the old man. Fast forward to two days ago, Brink got a call from his son's defense attorneys telling him Aldrich was involved in a shooting at an LGBTQ nightclub in Colorado Springs. Brink says he's a Mormon, and his first reaction was, why was my son at a gay bar? You know, Mormons don't do gay. We don't do gay. There's no gays in the Mormon church. We don't do gay. I ran into Brink while he was unloading appliances at his home in Sherman Heights. When he learned more details of the deadly shooting, he was shocked. There's no excuse for going and killing people. If you're killing people, there's something wrong. It's just, it's just, it's just not the answer. Brink says his son was born here in San Diego at Sharp Mary Birch Hospital in 2000. He and his wife lived in Cardiff by the Sea at the time, but they soon got divorced. Brink currently works as a mixed martial arts coach. He says he taught his son how to fight. I praised him for violent behavior really early. I said, hey, okay, that works. It is in, it's instant, and, it, and you'll get immediate results. But in the wake of the violence at Club Q, Brink is changing his tune. Life is just so uh, fragile, and it is valuable. Those people's lives are valuable. You know, I, they're, they're valuable. They're good people, probably. You know, it's not, it's not like you know, kill somebody or, you know, kill. Um, I'm sorry, you know, I let my son down. At one point in that interview, we informed Brink that Colorado does not have the death penalty. He folded his hands in front of him, looked up, and said, thank God. David, uh, it, the first reaction of uh, that father when you when he heard about the uh, shooting happening at a gay bar, um, some anti-gay sentiments there. He did express some anti-gay sentiments very bluntly, and we did not include those comments in our report. But I will say once he found out how many people died and how many people were injured, he apologized over and over again to the community.